you find a photograph? Yeah, I'm just doing some filming, so. What are you photographing down there? Go get some food. Thank you. 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 Are you still hungry? It's waffles and cookie dough over there. Oh. Jeans are a bad choice. Amazing. Thank you. Flavour, favour you. <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot! Oh. Oh, thank you. There you are. You want five pounds? Yeah. Everyone's a yeah. winner. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, you too. Hello, mate. <laughs> Guys, what is going on here? <laughs> Let's get out in uh, the fresh air. Um, and obviously come to the Bristol Food Festival. Um, this is on every year, but I uh, don't often go. Well, I've never been. Um, so. Yeah, it was nice to uh, get out and see it. Um, don't make much of a soft shell crabbed tempura though. That's not for me. Um, duck wrap though, and jerk chicken. Amazing. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Um, I'm basically coming into the gym and just finishing off my session from last week because I was. Have you got one? Right. Kind of made up again. Okay. Nice. 50% fat. Right, Sam's here and he has a Sam fact. Welcome to the Sam fact. It's impossible to see your own teeth without looking in the mirror. <laughs> oh my Sorry, god. Yeah, basically, at the end of last week, I just wasn't really feeling up to training, so I basically skipped on loads of accessory work. So, just finishing that off today, basically, and just gonna be doing some back work and a little bit of arm work. How are they looking at? Yeah, they're good, mate. Looking <laughs> good. Let's grow these noodle arms. Sick. I think we should have a gun off. Minute. Look at that. Look at that right there. Tell you what. It's pretty close. <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, how do you make your arms grow? I've been doing bicep curls for like 10 years. Nothing happens. That's the way it should be done, in and out in half an hour. Why can't powerlifting last half an hour? Rather than six times that. Ridiculous. Hi guys. A couple of weeks. <laughs> in Edinburgh, I next week. Away? You're up in Edinburgh? Yeah, next week. Why? Okay. That's not fair. They can't have you. <laughs> <laughs> got to find a gym up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, see you later, guys. Right, another weekend draws to a close. It's been an absolutely beautiful day today. Um, it's nice to actually have some vitamin D. Definitely makes me feel a lot better. Um, at the end of last week I was feeling pretty rubbish. Still got a little bit of a cold, so that's definitely made me feel a little bit better. And it was nice to obviously go to this uh, food festival today. Um, I did try and track what I was eating um, on my phone. I'll have a quick look Oh, what the calories are for today then. So overall I think I had 1,800 calories while I was there. So that consisted of a hoisin duck wrap, um, crab tempura burger, uh, and jerk chicken with rice. Um, I also had a beer as well. Um, so overall today I've had 2,800 calories. So that's obviously not too bad at all. Um, I am still tracking and I am sort of still under uh, my calories. So yeah, next week I'm definitely back on it in terms of preparing food um, got flies all over me and being back in a deficit as well so I'm still definitely on it with the diet um, but yeah just the, the end of this weekend has not been ideal so uh, I am literally being eaten alive by flies at the moment so yeah hopefully this week coming up uh, is going to be good in terms of tracking and diet um, I'm feeling pretty confident about the training as well um, again last week training wasn't brilliant so yeah, onwards and upwards. I'll see you for high volume squats tomorrow. So welcome to two days later. Yesterday was actually the day that I did um, my high volume squats. I did three sets of eight high bar on 140 kilos. Now, they weren't too bad. It was the split squats that followed that almost killed me. I've never been so close to throwing up in the gym in my life. Welcome to my version of hell. Um, after that I did leg extensions as well, so it's fair to say right now my legs are dead. That being said, there's no rest for the wicked. Going back into the gym now to do 180 kilos for a few sets of four. Um, and as you can probably tell, I've still got the remnants of a cold, but unfortunately that is not a good enough excuse to not go into the gym. So let's go and get it done. Sorry about that. Oh, here he is. Back from the gym, and as you can probably tell by my red, sweaty face, it was a pretty tough session. But now, it is time for literally one of my favorite meals. So what it is, is, well, they call it crudités, which is basically just raw veg um, with dips uh, and some sort of cured meats. So we've got like some salami here, we've got some cocktail sausages and some chicken goujons. So this is what I used to have when I was really young. Uh, and it's just a good way of my mum making me have vegetables. So I actually really like it. Um, and obviously, yeah, good way of getting in lots of micronutrients with the vegetables. So yeah, I'm starving. I'm going to eat this now.
absolutely love that meal, but the only problem is there's not a ton of protein in it, so I'm still about 100 grams short of what I'm supposed to have, um, but still absolutely delicious, and I get all of my micronutrients pretty much for the day because it's a massive portion of fruit and veg, um, so that just makes me feel a bit better, and hopefully it will contribute to this cold getting to fuck because it is so annoying being all congested like this, but um, generally I'm feeling a lot better anyway, but mainly because it's just really sunny at the moment um, in the UK and just warm and I think I suffer with this um, SAD syndrome, so seasonal affective disorder where basically when it's cold you just feel a bit grim and a bit rubbish, um, so I'm definitely feeling a lot better. So before I go, I just wanted to quickly update you on when I'm going to be um, uploading videos from now on. Um, so I have kind of been doing it every other day for the last like couple of years it seems. Um, but I am now going to be doing it Wednesday at 5 o'clock and Sunday at 5 o'clock. So I put a post out on Instagram basically asking you guys what time you think is best uh, to upload videos. And it was fairly unanimous that sort of 5 o'clock in the evening when people finish work uh, and what it, whatever it is you do. Um, that's the best time to actually watch and that's when you prefer watching videos um, on YouTube. So it's going to be 5 o'clock Wednesday, 5 o'clock Sunday um, and not every other day. So yeah, just twice a week. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm um, gonna wrap up the video, like I said. Please be sure to like the video. It means a lot to do that. I don't know why, but apparently that's the thing that you're meant to do. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. That I do care about. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace.